What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to let us create an action role playing game in Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be fixing a few issues with the stamina system and with the enemy's health bar. So if we take a look at the game right now, you can see that the stamina, there is a problem with it and that is it regenerates whenever you, like even while the attack is happening. So. I want to change that so that unless the attack number is zero, so unless the player is not attacking, then the stamina regenerates so that it's more fair. And there is also an issue with the enemy's health bar, which if you go to the enemy over here, you can see that they have a health bar, but if you attack them once, you can see that the health, health bar disappears and that is a big problem, so we are going to have to fix that and even when the enemy dies the health bar just doesn't come back so the fix for that is very simple okay let us get started with the tutorial but before we start i want a special thank my super precious patrons who are supporting this channel while receiving the project files for this game so if you guys want to support the channel and receive the project files please check out my patreon i'm planning to do more often updates on patreon and more stuff right now because you know it's been lacking the, for the past while and I haven't been posting a lot on Patreon so I decided that I'm gonna be taking care of it much more than I already am right now. And one more thing before we start, if you guys like the tutorials please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we are on the way to 20,000 subscribers. And yeah let us get started by fixing the enemy health bar issue first. So the problem is if we go to the BP enemy, we can take a look at the code and we also have some code in the enemy health bar widget. So we are also going to open that before we start looking at this stuff. This issue was happening and I didn't know how to fix it, but I looked around. I read every single line of code that's associated with this kind of thing, like with the enemy health bar. And I tried several stuff and none of it worked. So. Yeah, we have event update stats, update health, and we get the health points and the health points max. And we have, wait, where's the rest of it? Yeah, it's over here where the health bar is activated, visible or not. But the problem is that over here we have this uh, condition, which is if the health percentage is less than one, then the health bar will be hidden and I'm not sure what the problem is because the max health for the enemy is definitely not one. Let us check it out and see how much max health they have. You can see health points max are 10 and health points are 10 and the problem is that it's possible that the health will be less than one. It could be 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 and you know even if that's the case, the health bar would definitely disappear. So the way I fixed it was I changed the one for 0 0.1. And if you compile and give it a try, you'll see that the issue is fixed. So let us go take a look at it. We go to the enemy and we take out our sword. And if we attack the enemy, you can see that the issue is gone. The health bar doesn't disappear until the enemy is dead. So yeah, that's about it for this issue. Now we are going to take a look at the other issue, which is the stamina. We want to improve it. You know, it's not a glitch or anything right now. We just want to improve it. So we are going to go to the BP base and that is where the attacking happens. And we want to see the, um, the condition for if we are attacking or not. And I think this one, which is the attack count, is a good one to use. We don't want to make a new condition. If the attack count is more than zero, we are not going to uh, regenerate the stamina. So we are going to go to the stamina in the event graph over the event tick. We have the stamina system. And if we go here, you can see that this is where we regenerate the stamina over here. So every 0.1 seconds, we are going to regenerate the stamina. But before we regenerate the stamina, what we want to do is we want to make sure 
that we check if the attack count is zero so it's basically very simple you are just gonna go and create a branch and then we are gonna go to the combat conditions attack count get attack count and basically we wanna we want it to be more than zero so more than oh sorry this is less integer more than integer and connect it to the condition if it's more than zero then we are gonna regenerate the stamina and if it's less then we are not gonna do anything so if we take a look we're gonna give it a try no it's definitely not working oh yeah i messed it up i actually should have connected it like this to the false i always do this so if you compile and press play you can see that the stamina doesn't regenerate until the attack count is zero again which is at the end of the combo there is a problem with the battle system right now with the attacking itself i changed some of these values maybe i shouldn't have so i'm just gonna reset them to the way they were before and actually no one is way too much 0 0.5 0. Point, yeah because i don't know how long the animations are specifically so i'm waiting till i have like proper animations to adjust this properly but i might have to do it sooner because you know I don't want to change the character model so soon. After the third attack, we also want to keep the stamina a little bit. Like, we want to give it time before it can regenerate. Okay, so let us take a look at the code again. This is after the first attack, we add one to the attack count, so it becomes one. Then after 0 0.6 seconds, we can at attack again. And if we don't so this is the time before the combo resets i'm gonna change that to 0 0.3 and i'm also gonna change the delay so that we can't attack again unless the entire first attacking animation is finished so i'm gonna make that 0 0.9 so yeah if we don't attack after this part then we go back to this part so we go back here and then we check the second attack so it's number one i think and if we don't attack again this is where the time range before combo reset so if this hap if you let this happen we check how, how much the attack count is and then we branch if it's more if it's less than one so if you don't if you stopped attacking then you set the attack count to zero this is for the first one for the second one we add one more to the attack count so the attack count becomes two and this is how long the attacking animation is supposed to be so i'm gonna go with 0 0.8 i think for this one too it's 0 0.8 you know you should probably know how long your attacking animations are for this to work properly then you sequence you know in sequences they happen both at the same time both options so we go back to the do once and we check again if within 0 0.3 seconds you don't attack then the attack count will be set to zero and the do once will happen again for the third one we go here we set you know the third animation plays and after that there are no other attacks so we set the attack count to zero then we delay and then we reset the entire thing. Okay, let us play and see if the animations are improved. Yeah, as you can see, we can't attack anymore unless the animation is over. There is an issue with the second one. I think I made the, uh, the thing for it too long. You know, it's, it's a problem testing this with stamina. So let's just wait for the stamina to refill and give it a try. Okay, so I've just checked and the third animation is actually three seconds long, but over here, I think we are playing it at the play rate of 1.6. So for that, 
I think I'm gonna go with 2.5 seconds and we can see if it works now. No, the issue is still there. You know what, for this part, I'm actually gonna copy this entire thing and I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna try it one more time, but I'm gonna make this like one second and this one like this. And I think we need to add a branch for this one and this one. So I'm just gonna copy this one. If it's not greater than two, we reset. And I'm also gonna do it for this one. So try it like this, greater, th not greater than three. Set attack count to zero, then reset. So if we play and give it a try, you can see that the issue is fixed. We don't attack while the third attack is happening. But there is a problem with the stamina regeneration and that is that, you know, we messed up with the attack count uh, variable. So I think we might have to just rely on a brand new variable for the, you know, to prevent the stamina thing from happening. Unless, yeah, we don't need to add another delay here. I think that's how I messed it up. So if we go like this, if the attack count is greater than zero, then we are not gonna regenerate stamina. As you can see, it now works perfectly, just as I wanted. But I think the regeneration thing is a little bit too slow, so I might just make the delay instead of 0 0.01, 0 0.00, and instead of the 1, I'm just gonna make it a 5, so that it's a little bit quicker. No, it's still pretty slow. So maybe I should have kept it 0 0.1, yeah, 0 0.01, and increased how much stamina we add. So instead of 0 0.03, I'm just gonna make it 0 0.1. And if we press play, you can see that the stamina regenerates faster now, but after the attacking is finished, and for the um, dodging, we also want to do the same thing because. You know, while you are dodging, it uh, regenerates very fast. So we already have the uh, variable for dodging. So after we check the attack count over here, if it's not less than, or you know, if it's not greater than zero, we are gonna do another branch to check if we are dodging. So just branch, get dodging. And we will only regenerate if it's false. So we can give it a try now and hope that it works. Yeah, you can see that it works now. So we have something more similar to the stamina system from Dark Souls. You know, it doesn't just regenerate very fast, like a generic thing. And you know, we fixed the sword thing. Oh, the stamina just doesn't regenerate anymore. What just, what the hell happened with it? I messed it up somehow. Let me check again. So I think we should check for the dodging first before the attacking. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And if we are not dodging, then we will check if we are, if our attacking is zero, then we are gonna branch or no, not the false. If greater than zero, then we are gonna choose the false or the true. What did I choose? If it's greater than zero, we don't wanna regenerate. So we're gonna go with the false, then compile and hit play. And hope that it works again. Yeah, I almost messed it up by doing the stamina thingy. But you can see that now it just works. And we also fixed the enemy health bar issue. So if we attack them, it's no longer a problem. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and think that it was helpful. 
In the next video, I'm going to try to fix the lock on system because right now, you know, when we lock on, the camera doesn't lock on, but only the character. And yeah, I know some people like it like this, but this isn't the standard for video games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lock on for the camera and try to improve the ranges and everything so that it can be more polished than it is right now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I know you are probably not new because like this is part 51 or something. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe or, you know, share it around because we want to reach 20,000 subscribers and we are 9,300 away from that goal. So if you guys want to see more tutorials and more game development content, please make sure to subscribe or share around my content. And yeah, I will see you around in the next video. Take care, have a great day and bye.